Sophia works two part-time jobs. She has to earn more than $400 a week to pay her bills. Her first job pays $9.50 an hour, and her second job pays $10 an hour. Write an inequality that expresses this relationship between her total weekly earnings and her goal, minimum earning per week, then graph the solution set for this inequality. So what I'm going to say is uh, I'm going to let x represent the hours at the first job. I'm going to let y represent the hours at the second job. Now Sophia earns $9.50 an hour at the first job, so then she would have 9.5 by x from the first job. The second job pays $10 an hour, so $10 by y, and she needs to earn a minimum of $400. She wants to earn more than $400, so we need that to be greater than $400. And so now let's graph this inequality. And we could use either method, uh, but I'm just going to go with intercepts in this case again. Notice when I, on my grid here, I'm only considering the first quadrant because if we think of the number of hours at a job, you can't have a negative number of hours. So I only have the first quadrant visible. So then, Let's find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0. If I let y equal 0, then I would have 9.5x plus 10 times 0. We'll think equals 400 for the moment. So that would give me 9.5x equals 400. And dividing through by 9.5, 400 divided by 9.5 is about 42.1. So then we have an x-intercept of 42.1 comma 0. And let's find the y-intercept by letting x equal 0. So then I'd have 9.5 by 0 plus 10y equals 400. So 10y equals 400 and dividing through by 10, y equals 40. So that gives me the ordered pair 0, 40. Using a scale of 10 on each axis, I'm marking every other line, grid line. So let's see, I'd have 42.1 comma 0, so about, let's say, here. And 0, 40 is here. Now, since it's, a, since it's a greater than inequality, I will use a dotted line to mark this boundary. So we have our line, our boundary marked. Now let's do a test point. Well, like usual, if it doesn't go through 0, 0, let's test 0, 0. And so in context, that means what if, uh, this, what if Sophia worked 0 hours at either job? At both jobs, I should say. So then we would have 9.5 times 0 plus 10 times 0. Is that greater than 400? Well, 0 is not greater than 400. So then we would shade the region that does not contain 0, 0. Now, realistically, though, you can't work a negative number of hours. So I would you know, adjust this just a little bit. And so I would have my marks only in the first quadrant, with the shading only in the first quadrant. Now, it depends on, you know, you know, if we're using a program that grades it, you might have to be a little more careful and, and shade the entire region above that line. But realistically, in a, in, you know, in a real situation, if we were expressing this using this inequality and in this graph, the number of hours at the first job and the number of hours at the second job would have to be greater than or equal to zero. 
and so we couldn't have any um, shading in the, in the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant.